Hey there. Welcome to another episode of Tips and Tech Talk. I am your host, Ron. Today, well, today we're talking about what it takes to take and pass your Part 107 UA pilot test so that you can become a UA pilot and fly your drone for business purposes. So this handout that you can download from FAA.gov, this 87-page PDF file called Remote Pilot Unmanned Aircraft System Study Guide is where you're going to find the meat and potatoes of what you need to know to pass this test. So if you're taking it for the first time, I would recommend giving yourself two to four weeks. If you're taking the renewal, give yourself a week to two weeks to study for this test. So um, if you don't mind, there's a lot to cover here. But uh, if you'll excuse me, um, I'm going to spend the next four to seven days studying this and uh, watching videos on YouTube and studying information online. So, yeah. So I'm here the day of the test here at the Oakland Regional Airport to take my Part 107 UAS pilot certificate test. I recommend you get to the testing center probably about a half hour before your test so you can look over some of your notes one last time before you go in, uh, and you take in the test. Um, I studied a little different for the retest than I did for the original uh, certificate when I took it originally two years ago. Um, there was a lot less information then, so I found myself copying and paste a lot from different websites, you know, from the FAA, you know, down to references they uh, used to make the questions. Um, so there was a lot of copying, pasting, and then making my own notes and then studying that. This time there was a lot more information. I just studied the FAA sheet and then I watched a lot of YouTube videos. Tony Northrup on YouTube has a really good video, um, really inf uh, informative and a really good, uh, a really good video to watch uh, probably a couple times as you're preparing for this uh, test. I will say, uh, if you're taking it for the first time, there's gonna be 60 questions, two hours to take it. If you're doing your retake um, and you're renewing your license, um, you're gonna have uh, 40 questions and you're gonna have 90 minutes. I laid out what uh, what I did to prepare for this test, but I guess uh, none of that's gonna matter if I don't pass the test. So I'm gonna go in here and take this test and see what happens. I've taken the test and I have passed. I got an 83 out of 100, I got seven wrong. I will say that they try to really mess you up with wording, and in a lot of cases they give you uh, more than one answer that could be correct. So they, they really try to trip you up. Make sure you read the entire question if you are gonna take this test and make sure you understand the question before um, that you give the answers. One of the things that I really enjoy about this test is while you're taking it, it allows you to mark questions that you're not sure about so that after you're done taking the test, you can come back and, uh, and double back and check out uh, these questions and kind of make sure that you spend more time on those. If you study for this test, you should pass this test. Plain and simple, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to, but again, be conscious of the wording of the questions and, and be conscious that they're trying to trip you up. So if you know the material, you'll do fine. Uh, you're gonna have to know charts, you're gonna have to know air spaces. Uh, they're really big on reading charts or maps, sectional, sectional charts they're called. Um, so you're gonna, you're, you're gonna be required to learn some things that probably aren't part of your day-to-day uh, -day, uh, things that you have to know. So uh, make sure you study for this test and if you do, you should do fine. So I hope this video was informative. I hope, uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, share it with your friends. Hit that like icon. Also, check out more of my videos on my YouTube channel. Click that bell notification so you're notified when I, make sure, when I make future videos. And of course, you can go to my website to see a lot more videos at ronrobinsonstudios.com. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time for another episode of Tips and Tech Talk. So long.